ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ultimate character creation guide for Adventures in Middle Earth 5th edition. Today we'll be going over the character creation process and I'll also show you an example so you know exactly how your character sheet should look for when you create your character. First step is to select your ability scores. This could be standard array, this could be point by, this could be roll, but there are no takebacks. You go ahead and put your ability scores here in your attributes tab. Next is to select your culture. Culture is another name for race. All the cultures start on page 31 of the Adventures in Middle-Earth Player's Guide. For standard cultures, there are some DLC cultures, such as the Dwarves of the Blue Mountains and the Elves of Rivendell. You can add these cultures if you wish, if you have the DLC book. Add your culture to the top of your Attributes tab of your character sheet, so it should be right here. Add your standard of living for your culture to the top of the Attributes tab of your character sheet. That's right here. So the men of Minas Tirith are prosperous. Add the bonus equipment for your culture to your inventory. You can drag and drop items from the items directory of Foundry VTT. So you go to your inventory tab, so this is where all of your inventory items are. And then you go over here to items, and you just drag and drop these over. So if you had armor, you could drag and drop the armor. All right, add all bonuses from your culture like ability score increases. So if you're gonna increase your ability scores, you go over here and uh, uh, edit them. Uh, speed, so you go over here to movement and you can change your speed. So if your speed is 30, then put 30. It's 20 right now because I'm encumbered and that reduces your speed, but it should be 30 if I was not encumbered. Next is language, you can edit your languages right here. So go ahead and just add whatever languages you are supposed to have. Next is gonna be your starting virtue from your culture. Sometimes cultures give you a starting virtue. Virtue is kind of like a, a bonus feat. So you go over into the book and there should be a whole section for all the virtues you can have. It should be labeled according to your culture. Just select one of them. Or you can select a general virtue as well. And those apply to everyone. And then add them to your feature. So for example, I have an active ability, not a passive ability and this is the Captain of a Gondor active ability, which is a virtue. All right. Select class. Starts on page 63 of the Adventures in Middle Earth Player's Guide. I go through all the classes, you can select one, and you can start by adding a class to your features tab right here. You can either create one or you can add one. I choose to add a class and edit it. So I went over to the compendium I clicked on um, classes, SRD, and then I dragged one of these over that was similar to the class I chose in the Adventures in Middle Earth player's guide. So for example, I chose a warrior and I noticed that the warrior was very close to a fighter in the standard fifth edition. Okay, so I drag it over and then I chose to edit that class to achieve whatever I needed to achieve. So click on the details tab and edit hit dice to match your chosen class. So I went over here, I changed it from fighter to warrior because that was the actual class name in the Adventures in Middle Earth player's guide. I edited the hit dice. Add proficiencies to your attributes tab for your character. This includes armor, weapons, tools, saving, throw, tools, saving throws, and skills. So go over to attributes, add in weapon proficiencies, armor, tools, uh, saving throws, everything. Next is to add starting equipment according to the standard of living from your culture. So you have bonus items that you get for your class that you can add over here, but they are dependent on your standard of living. So sometimes it will say, if you are martial, if that's your standard of living, you get these items. If you're prosperous, you get these items. So it adds a little bit of variety depending on how rich you are. Next is to add your class abilities. Sometimes these abilities can need to be created fresh. Sometimes you can go to the compendium and drag similar class features from the SRD and edit them. So let's take a look here. I have actually Action Surge and Second Wind. They are actually both abilities that are assigned to the warrior. So what I did was I went over to the warrior class. And I noticed that they were already here fighting Second Wind and Action Surge. And so I just like dragged these over. You can also go over here to your um, class abilities, class features, and you can just look them up and you can drag these over from these class features over to your character sheet. So no big deal, class features SRD. 
Oh, okay. So you've added your equipment, you've added all your class abilities, and if you can't add it, right? I just added another second win, but you only get one of them. If you can't add, if you don't have another template to kind of drag over, then you'll have to create a new one. No big deal. You just add a class feature here. Click this add button, and there it is, it pops up. Then you just click this edit button, and you can edit it to your name. I can edit the icon if you want at the end. Uh, you edit the description, you edit the details. So does it cost an action? Is it a bonus action? Is there damage? Probably no damage, right? It's probably gonna be something where you just add it a description and you tell me, oh, is it an action? Is it a bonus action? And you add a name and you tell me to change the icon. That's all you need to know. All right, so we're done with that. Next is the black round, the last section. So this is on page 121 of the Adventures in Middle Earth Player's Guide. It lists out all the backgrounds you can choose. Just choose one of them. Next, you go over here to features and you add that background feature that is associated with the background to your adventure, to your character sheet. So I went ahead and did that myself. So mine is the Dark Foreboding. Add the distinct quality, specialty, hope, despair. Feel free to customize it. This is in the biography tab of your character sheet. So go over here and there should be appearances, there should be distinctive quality, specialty, hope, and despair. These should be specific to your background. Feel free to customize these to whatever you want to role play. There's absolutely no reason to keep them according to what you roll or what you select. As long as you have something there that you enjoy. You should also have a brief description of your appearance. So for example, Morwen, the warrior of Minas Tirith, is fair skin, brownish red, long hair, muscular, 5'11". Just have an appearance, a description ready. All right, so now you've added all that. Then you add your proficiencies from your background. So you go over to your attributes and you add whatever proficiencies you gain from your background, if you gain any. Next and last step is to create a short story for your character to share with the party. This should be a good summary of your character's background, personality traits, motivations, vices, ideals, bonds, flaws, and a few personal goals. This is meant to introduce your character and help you roleplay. So how you would do this is you, you would go over to your biography section, you would click this edit button, and you go ahead and just type whatever um, introduction story or short story you want to have. It doesn't need to be long. Maybe one or two sentences to cover each of these. So personality traits. Uh, Morwen is abrasive, naive, and courageous. Motivations. She loves, she is bound by her duty to help Minas Tirith. Vices. Maybe she drinks a lot. Maybe she's greedy. Ideals. You just name these, name a few, maybe one or two sentences for each, and I guarantee you it's going to go by really fast. And then that's going to be it. That's the character creation process in the Adventures in Middle Earth 5th Edition. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you so much, ladies. I'll catch you in the next video.